Good morning! Welcome to Virtual Toddler Time. My name is Mari. I'm one of your library staff. I work at the Town Lauder Timberland Library. And I'm here to share some songs and rhymes with you this morning. These virtual early learning programs are designed for grown-ups to do with the small people that they love. So welcome. Welcome to songs and rhymes that will build your small person's brain, make all those connections that will support all of their future learning. Okay, so I have these things up on my board here. Um, but you know what I think before that? I'm going to teach you a song, a hello song. It has some sign language in it. I think that is amazing that there are so many languages in the world. I wish I spoke many more of them than I do. Um, different languages are amazing. All of our differences are amazing. So I'm going to teach you hello friends. So hello in sign language is your hand up like that. Hello, hello. Um, and friends is you take your little fingers like this and you turn them into friends. They give each other a hug. So friends. So, <laughs> hello, friends. So we'll sing hello, friends a couple times. Um, and it's time. You point to like you have a watch on your wrist. To say, you point your chin. Hello. Are you ready? Here's how it goes. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Hello! I'm so glad you're with me. Okay, are we ready for a little worm? If you haven't done this with me before, I have these six books. They're different colors and they have the numbers on them. And little worm is hiding behind one of them. And there are other things hiding behind the others. Okay, should we try? This is what we do when we're looking for little worm. Little worm, little worm, hiding in a book. Little worm, little worm, where should we look? Where should we look? When we're all together, I have people call out a number or a color, but you're not actually here with me today. So I'm going to grab my little oatmeal container that's decorated like an octopus. Reach in. We'll see what it says. Oh, it is a green piece of paper with a number four on it. You find the green the number four, the green book with the number four. Right over there. Let's see what's behind it. Oh, it is a little hippopotamus. If you watched my recording last, last time I did one of these toddler times, it's up on the YouTube channel, Timberland Regional Library YouTube channel. We, we did the hippopotamus rhyme. We'll add a verse today. This is how it goes. The hip, the hip, the hippopotamus got on. Got on, got on the city bus, and all, and all, and all the people said, you're squishing us. And it would be a good opportunity if you feel like a hug, to hug small person you can, or people you can hug your grown-ups during the squishing. Are you ready? We'll do it again. The hip, the hip, the hippopotamus, got on, got on, got on the city bus, and all, and all. And all the people said, your squishiness. How about a cow? How about a brown and spotted cow gets on the city bus? Should we try it? Okay. A cow, a cow, a brown and spotted cow got on, got on, got on the city bus. And all, and all, and all the people said, it's a different saying, the people said, Move over. It's kind of a tongue twister a little bit after you get the hippopotamus in there to put in a cow. Should we put in the cow one more time? A cow, a cow, a brown and spotted cow. Got on, got on, got on the city bus. And all, and all, and all the people said, move over. So silly. All right, let's try to find Little Worm again. Little Worm, Little Worm, hiding in a book. Little worm, little worm, where should we look? Let's see. It's yellow. It's yellow three. Do you see the yellow three? See it up there? Woo, there it is. Let's see what's behind the yellow three. Oh, it's a picture of a bed. I know a song that has lots of people or stuffed animals or whatever something there's 10 in the bed 
And the little one said, roll over. Do you know this one? We get to count backwards. My screen is kind of backwards too. All right. Let's see if I can put my, put my 10 right here. There were 10 in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. There were nine in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. There were eight in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. There was seven in the bed and the little one said roll over roll over so they all rolled over and one fell out there were six in the bed and the little one said roll over roll over so they all rolled over and one fell out there were five in the bed and the little one said roll over roll over so they all rolled over and one fell out there were four in the bed and the little one said roll over roll over so they all rolled over and one fell out there were three in the bed and the little one said roll over roll over so they all rolled over and one fell out there were two in the bed and the little one said roll over roll over so they all rolled over and one fell out there was one in the bed, and that little one said, Good night. That's a fun counting song. All right, how about we see what's next? Oh, first we have to do the rhyme. Little worm, little worm, hiding in a book. Little worm, little worm, where should we look? Where should we look? Blue, blue five. Do you see the blue book with the number five in it? All right, let's see what's behind it. Oh, it's a picture, kind of an illustration of some hand prints. Like someone put their hands in some finger paint, different colors of finger paint, and made a beautiful picture out of it. Let's see, what can we do with some hands? Oh, we can sing Wake Up Hands. Are you ready? Wake up hands, wake up hands, wake up hands, and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up hands. Wake up, hands, wake up and wiggle in the morning. I like to do feet. I don't think you're going to be able to see my feet, but just trust me, they're wiggling. Should we wiggle our feet? Wake up, feet, wake up, feet, wake up, feet, and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up, feet, wake up, feet, wake up and wiggle in the morning. Should we be? How about our ears? We wake up our ears. Wake up, ears, wake up, ears. Wake up ears and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up ears, wake up ears. Wake up and wiggle in the morning. You can wiggle any parts of your body to sing that. That's a really fun kind of wake up dancing song or wake up from a nap song. I like that one. All right, we have three books left. Red and orange and purple. Let's see if we can find Little Worm. Little Worm, Little Worm, hiding in a book. Little Worm, Little Worm. Where should we look? Where should we look? Let's see what's next. Oh, it's red. It's the red number one. Do you see it? The red book with a number one on it. There it is. All right. Let's take off the red book. Oh, look. It's Little Worm. Excellent. It took us four tries to find Little Worm, but we finally found her. All right, that was excellent. We have two left, and I bet there are fun things to do behind them. So, let's see which one we'll do next. Orange or purple? It looks like orange. The orange with the number two. There it is. Let's see what's behind it. Oh, it's a door. This one is a new rhyme that I learned. I learned it from the librarians who do the website and YouTube channel, Jaybrary. They are amazing. There are so many fun rhymes and songs to learn. I'll put a link to that um, if you're looking at, if you're watching this from the YouTube page, there'll be a link underneath to Jaybrary because they are awesome. So this is the kitchen door. 
This is another counting rhyme. We're doing a lot of counting today. It's kind of fun to play with numbers. So we'll do some counting and some pretending that we're going to be eating some fun things. I have some fun things to eat hidden right back here. So this is how it goes. One, two, three, four. Mari's at the kitchen door. Five, six, seven, eight. Eating. You see what that is? Delicious salad. Eating salad on a plate. Yum. Delicious. That actually looks really good. That might be something I might have for dinner. All right. Should we try it again? You can do it at your house. You can you can put whoever you want at the kitchen door eating whatever they want on a plate. It's super fun. You could even turn it into a guessing game if you wanted to. And think of something ahead of time. Like let's let's I'll we'll do that now. So the next thing I'm gonna eat on a plate, it's, they're kind of small. I think they taste delicious. Usually they are red when they're ripe. They're made up of lots of tiny little segments, little tiny round parts make up a kind of thing. It's a kind of berry and and I kind of think it's kind of fun and silly if I put it on my finger to eat them off. Do you know what it is? Should I show you? It'll be raspberries. Eating raspberries on a plate. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Mari's at the kitchen door. Five, six, seven, eight. Eating raspberries on a plate. Delicious. All right, should we do one more? Another guessing one? So this is something that a lot of time people eat for breakfast. And you make a batter and you pour it into a very hot, hot thing. It's called a, it's called a, it's a kind of an iron. It has the word of the food in the name of the, of the tool you use in the kitchen to make it. So you pour the batter onto it and it has a top that you close and it steams and cooks and steams and cooks. And when you open it up, you have this delicious thing with like little squares in it. It's like really good for butter. Do you know what it is? It's waffles. It was a waffle iron that I was talking about. All right, you ready for waffles on a plate? One, two, three, four. Mari's at the kitchen door. Five, six, seven, eight. Eating waffles on a plate. Delicious. All right, that was super fun. We have one more. Purple. Purple six. I don't even have to look in my jar because I already know it. There's only one left. Let's see what's behind it. Oh, it is some letters. Can you see? ABC. Let's sing the ABC song. We'll sing it a couple different ways. First, the way that I think most of us generally sing it most of the time. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Do you want to sing it to another tune? I like singing the ABC song to different tunes. It makes it easier to hear the, the, the words that we're singing. And those words that we're singing are the names of the letters. It's kind of cool. Let's see. How about Mary Had a Little Lamb? To the tune of Mary Had a Little Lamb. You know how that goes? Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. And now with the ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Nice. It's kind of a workout for your brain. Super fun. All right. Well, that was our toddler time for today. I'm going to say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. That's how you say goodbye in sign language and friends. Goodbye, friends. See you next time.